It's been four years since I've gone to Comic-Con. The pandemic happened and it was canceled and then it came back, but I wasn't ready to return. That is until now. I'm going back to Comic-Con. I've missed making new friends who love to geek out over movies and TV shows as much as I do. I've missed discovering new artists and their incredible work. And of course, I've missed meeting my favorite actors. It's finally time to go back to Comic-Con. I was incredibly excited to go back to Planet Comic Con this year, but I was also a little bit nervous. I haven't been around large crowds like this in a while, and it was extremely overwhelming. I attended William Shatner's panel and tried to explore the con floor, but I was really struggling to vlog. I couldn't find the courage to connect with anyone there. And that's my favorite part about Comic Con is meeting new people because they're so friendly and passionate but I just couldn't bring myself to walk up to anybody. I was really starting to feel defeated because of my anxiety. But one amazing thing did happen on day one. I got to have my photo taken with William Daniels, AKA Mr. Feeney. Mr. Feeney! Right here, Mr. Matthews. He was the teacher we all wished we had growing up and I'm so grateful I got the opportunity to meet him. He's almost 96 years old and going to cons and meeting fans, it's truly amazing. It was a really short experience. All I said was hi and he said hi back, but it was pretty cool. But after my photo, I was ready to call it a day. I needed to go to a calm space. So of course, I went to the cinema. We went to see Shazam! Fury of the Gods at B&B theaters. visit Kansas City without getting barbecue. We stopped at Joe's for dinner and called it a night. I was really hoping that the next day I'd be able to handle things a little bit better. We just picked up dinner from Joe's Barbecue in Kansas City. I'm incredibly excited for this. We had some got the turkey sandwich with fries and then I got a plate with brisket turkey and street corn. We got lots of extra Joe's barbecue sauce to put on top. Okay, I already know that I'm gonna like this turkey because I've had the turkey before and it's really, really good. Oh yeah, now we got the brisket. I've never had this before, so. That is soft. That's quite nice. I prefer the turkey, but both are really good. I'm giving this meal like a nine out of 10. On day two of Comic-Con, I was determined to make the most out of my last day. I was still a little bit nervous about the crowds, but I felt like yesterday was a pretty good trial run. I just wanted to stay calm and take a deep breath, see as much as I could, but also not stress out over trying to see it all. So I know the con literally just opened, but this is already so much better than yesterday. It is so much calmer. I feel incredibly excited. This is gonna be a good day, guys. Honestly, today is a much calmer day than yesterday. I think it's because it's a Sunday. There's just not as many people, which is really nice. And I feel like I can do more, I can see more. I mean, on Saturdays, when things get incredibly stressful, if you can find a little corner like this to come sit and just kind of take a breather, look outside, take a moment to calm down, 
Yesterday though, like all every little spot was taken because it was so busy. I ended up just going outside. Just sit down, take a breather, get a drink, maybe get some food, talk to a camera for a little bit. Do what you need to do so you can get up and go back in. We are about to go see a panel right now. Next guest, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Giancarlo Esposito. That was exactly what I needed to hear this weekend. Sometimes you'll come to a con, you'll either meet somebody or you'll see the perfect cosplay or you'll go to a panel and people ask the right questions or just something just clicks and you're like, I needed that experience. And I needed to see that panel. It was incredible. He, first of all, is so emotionally intelligent. He is poetic. He's humble, an absolutely incredible actor, but also seems like a genuinely incredible human being. And that was one of the best panels I have ever seen at any con ever. He's just very honest and vulnerable and was talking about mental health, which is the theme of my video, and was so helpful to hear it from somebody as successful as he is to be talking about what he's gone through. But not only that, giving advice, so much incredible advice. I honestly felt like I walked out of a therapy session by the end of it because of everything that he was saying. He talked about how changing your words, what you say to yourself, changes your story and it changes your life. And I kind of did that today. Yesterday, I kept telling myself, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to do this, this feels too much. And then today I was like, you know what, I got this. I'm gonna go talk to people, I'm gonna talk to my friends, and then I'm gonna go talk to new people, meet new people. And my entire energy has completely changed. I feel a lot better, to, like I'm vlogging right now in public. People are walking behind me, probably staring at me, and I'll see in the footage later, but I don't care. <laughs> I genuinely don't care. Yesterday I would have been too freaked out to do this. I was, I didn't film anything yesterday because I was telling myself, I can't, I'm too freaked out, but today I don't care. <laughs> and honestly, his panel really, really empowered me. It felt like he was talking to each and every single person too. It felt personal, <laughs> uh, which is just different. Like I went to William Shatner's panel yesterday and it was the complete opposite. It was just him telling stories about his life and not really connecting with the fans. And that's all you want from Comic-Con. You just wanna meet people and you wanna connect and you wanna feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. I'm gonna head back out onto the con floor now and have some more fun. The second person just commented on my Tree Hill jersey. One person was like, Nathan Scott. And I was like, heck yes. And I had to show him the back. And then this person just shouted, Tree Hill. Oh, I didn't cosplay this year. So I just wore my One Tree Hill jersey and thankfully two people noticed it. That was really cool. I also met up with some friends who reminded me why I love this place so much. First Comic-Con in like four years now, and check out who I ran into! Hi everybody! We became friends at the St. Louis Comic-Con? Yes, we did. It I was a Stranger Things panel. Yes, I don't remember what year it was. It's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> but we try to meet up at every con that we attend together. We do. And I'm gonna ask her a couple questions for my video. Why do you like Comic-Con so much? What keeps you coming back? Like, what's your favorite thing? The atmosphere, probably, because everybody has something in common with one another. So it's really easy to make friends, really easy to find common ground and just nerd out with other people who believe and love the things that you do. Knowing that you can come to a place and express your enjoyment of something and you're amongst peers who also enjoy things, you can like anything and you'll find it here. Part of it is I've come back for her. But also, it's, it's like a really big family. Um, as a father who's an artist and has a daughter that's an artist, um, we enjoy seeing families and how they interact and enjoy the fandoms. There's also something about that human connection, you know, that um, you can't get when you're at home behind a computer. They offered some great advice on how to deal with getting anxious or overwhelmed at Comic-Con. When there's a lot of people wall to wall, I temp I kind of have like claustrophobia a little bit, so it's a little bit um, anxiety inducing, but it's really easy to like step outside and take breaks if you ever need to. So that's kind of my little key to do that. If you get overwhelmed with things, you can always help yourself with sensory issues. So headphones are great for noise and having something to like hold on to. So I have anxiety and these shows like I I do get overwhelmed and I do start to panic. And when I get that way, usually I'll have my little friend with me to hang on to, but I remember to breathe and just walk slowly and remind myself everybody is here for the enjoyment of things and if it gets too much that you need time to calm down, 
there's almost always a place for you to go and rest. You can go behind the curtains and just sit down. It's a lot quieter so you can calm down and just feel better. Give yourself those mental breaks when you need to. Um, usually Comic Cons are like in downtown areas where you can easily get out into a street where there's like fresh air and also like little coffee shops and nearby places where people are very kind and nice. And so I think that would be a nice little uh, brain break, mental break that everyone can take. Also a buddy system. If you come with, come to a show, being with somebody else, they can help keep an eye on you and vice versa. And relying on that, that person, um, is going to keep you, you know, in a, in a better mental state because it is, it is a lot of people and it can be very overwhelming. Don't think that this is just going to be anxiety every step you're here. No, it's not. Um, Come expecting fun. Cons uh, are for everyone. Yeah, they're for everyone. For everyone. And like I said, we have fun coming here and we really love to see everybody. And it's like a big family. I mean, we've known you for years and uh, it's it's exciting to see you because we haven't seen you in a while. So glad you got outdoors. <laughs> I'm so thankful I've been able to make such good friends at Comic-Con that I get to see every year. Reconnecting with them gave me the courage to go talk to some new people too. So I am trying to find people to go up to and talk to. Even though I said I was feeling more comfortable, and like vlogging right now like this is no problem, but going up to a complete stranger and being like, can I interview you? is freaking me out a little bit. But I'm trying to push myself to talk to one more person. Yeah, so I'm Emily Lytle. Um, Emmy in Pink is my art shop. So I'm actually from Nebraska. Um, there's a con there called Anime Nebraska Con. Um, I first went when I was like 16 and super shy and nervous and um, I was just immediately welcomed by the community. Uh, so it's really great to find people you connect with in that way. I was really lucky my first, like I said, my first convention experience. Um, you know, we were just kind of standing around being all shy and someone approached us and, you know, made us feel like we belonged and talked to us and we made friends right away. Um, but, you know, if you're feeling overwhelmed, just make sure you take breaks, um, be kind to yourself, you know, make sure you're making multiple laps, you can see everything. There's so much to do, so much to see. I did it. I went up to somebody and I connected and I had a conversation and it went well. In the past, I would have talked to a lot more people, but I think that's okay. I think just easing my way back in and doing whatever I'm comfortable with is more than enough. So if it's your first ever Comic-Con or just your first one in a while, remember that this is an amazing place where you can connect with passionate and friendly people, see your favorite celebrities and just have an amazing time. And if it does get a little bit overwhelming, take a break, go see a movie. It'll be there for you when you get back. Go to Comic-Con, it'll change your life. And you make Perfect. great friends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. The number one reason to come to Comic-Con. Of course. I'll see you next year, Planet Comic-Con. Remember to keep it weird and keep it real.